and welcome to the HBP Sage 50 VAT return video. In this, in this video we will go through how to run your VAT return within Sage 50. Okay, so as you can see I've got Sage 50 open at the moment, so I'm ready to do my VAT return, so I'm going to go to the VAT option. And on this screen as you can see it brings up some different options across the top. So I've got all my reports and I've also got my VAT return option on here. Okay, so I'm ready to go into my VAT return. So what I'm going to do is select VAT return. Okay, and what this does is it opens my VAT return window. As you can see, the first step is to prepare my VAT return. Okay, so what we strongly advise to do first is to take your, your backup. Once you've reconciled and completed this process, um, you won't be able to unreconcile that VAT return. So it's good practice, um, we always say to get a backup just in case obviously the reconciliation is done and there's an issue with it, you've always got a rest restart option there. Okay. For my example, I'm going to continue on to the next part where we have a date range. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select to do the start and the end of my VAT return. Okay. okay. I've also got some checks here that I can run. As you can see, what will happen is the once I go and calculate my VAT, it will go away and check all my transactions. Okay, and with these options ticked on, this is what the system is going to go away and look for on my transactions. So you'll see once I've run it, it will bring back some queries. So I'll show you that on the next screen. Okay, so if you, I'd always advise coming into the screen, checking what you've got ticked on, or if you don't want something ticked on, you can untick it in there. Okay. And then when you're ready, you can calculate your VAT return. Okay, my VAT return's gone away and it's come back um, with 44 potential queries. Okay, there is quite a few purchase orders on and there's four invoices that haven't been updated yet. Okay, so these transactions won't show on here until they've been updated. So I can go in here and view them. As you can see, I've got a couple of transactions there. So. Obviously, I can see that I'm missing my transaction, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and close. And just say, yeah, okay, that's fine. So what we're going to do is go into our invoices, and I'm going to select all the invoices that I want to post. Okay, and once these are posted and updated to my ledgers, what I'll be able to do then is that we'll see them on my VAT return. Okay. okay, now my transactions are posted. Okay, we can see them there. So if I go back into my VAT, now I expect to see them, them transactions coming and putting through on my VAT return. Okay. So now if I calculate my VAT, it says I've already selected, do I want to go ahead? So yep, so now it's gone away and it's found them extra transactions that we've just got and posted. So as you can see, it pulls them through onto my VAT return. I've still got quite a few queries on my VAT return. So what I'm going to do is view them first. Okay, so what I've got here is I've still got 40 on purchase order, which is fine. I'm, I'm happy with that, I'm, I'm aware. And I've got six transactions here with unexpected VAT values. And I can view into them and have a look to see which transactions they are. But again, I'm aware of these and I'm happy to move forward. So if I close out with this screen. Now you can also make a VAT adjustment within here. Okay, so for example, today I'm going to make a adjustment here on my purchasing. Okay, so I'm going to come in, I'm going to double click and it takes me in to my manual adjustment screen. So I need to give it a reason. So I'm going to um, put in here correction of invoice. And I'm going to make that adjustment. Okay, so tab across and put in my adjustment amount there. 
Okay, so I'm happy. That's my adjustment. I'm ready to make that change. So I've gone onto there and I've made that adjustment. As you can see, it updates the adjustment column and it also adjusts the reported column. So once I close out of here, you can see it updates in my back return screen straight away. Okay, so right, I'm happy with my adjustment. I'm happy with my back return. But I've also got the options here to come and print any back reports on my back return. That I wish to see. So if you print reports, you can come in here and you've got all different sorts of reports in here. You can either print these just to preview to your printer, or you can send them to Excel, or you can email them across to the individual. So in each one of these reports, when you click on it, as you can see, it'll give you the information that the report's pulling back for yourself. So once you're happy um, with the back return and you're happy with your transactions, um, again, you can drill straight in and double check bef just before you make any final adjustments to your VAT return that you're completely happy. Okay, once you are completely happy, what you do then is you've got the option here to reconcile your VAT return. Please note that once you do reconcile your VAT return, you cannot reverse this process. So that's why we say it's good practice to get your backup before doing this because if there is any issues, if you reconcile your VAT and then realise that you've made a mistake, you will have that backup to go back to. Okay, but I'm happy to move forward, so oh. we'll reconcile with that. So what we're saying again, it just wants me to confirm that I'm happy to flag all these transactions as part of my VAT reconciliation. Okay, so that's going away. Okay, so it's brought back my VAT return and it's marked there as reconciled. Okay, so as you can see, my VAT return now is reconciled and that is completed. Okay, so what else I've got to do when I've completed my VAT return? So I've got the journal to make within my accounts to debit and credit my sales tax and my purchase tax amount. Okay, so I'm happy to go and say, yep, yeah, that, that's the adjustment that needs to be made in my account, so post that journal. Okay, so what's that going to do? It's gone away and it's posted that journal for me. Okay, as you can see, the next step is to say, do you want to go away and submit your VAT return to the HMRC? Okay, so if you hit on yeah. submit, what's going to tell me is I don't have correct credentials in at the moment. So if I say yes to that, it'll take me to my credential screen. In here, I can fill in all my HMRC information. Okay, once this is all completed, click OK and save that information and then after your HMRC information is complete you'll be able to submit online okay what that process will do is it'll take your VAT return and it will take all your credentials and it'll go and send that straight to the HMRC for you okay unfortunately because obviously I'm in demo I don't have that facility so I'm just going to mark mine as submitted and then underneath we've got the final part okay where you either were making that payment or receiving that claim back from the HMRC for your VAT. So what you can do is select which bank account you want that money to be taken from or go into. And then your date, so I'm just gonna put the same date as the date above. I'm gonna put a reference of VAT return. Okay, and the details are VAT refund and there's my amount. And I'm happy for it to go away and post that to my bank. Okay, so if I hit post to bank, okay. and that's updated. So now that's my VAT return completed. I've checked all my transactions, I've reconciled my VAT return, I've done my transfers in my nominal, and I've also submitted it to the HMRC. So I'm happy to close out with this screen. Okay. So as you can see, I've got my VAT return there that I've just gone and submitted. Okay, so as we discussed, it went away and it made all my payments. So I'm just going to show you quickly what's done in there. So my bank account, if I go to my activities, as you can see there, it's put that in my bank as, as my, my VAT refund. Okay. And also, if we go across to your nominal codes, and we have a look at the VAT, so if I look at your current assets and your VAT records, liability and sales what we have to see in activity is that transaction there of our adjustment yeah. and that is 
your VAT process within stage 50. Thank you very much for watching.